I've been thinking about the abysmal state of the modern internet nowadays, and something came to me, and this is going to be a bold prediction, very bold prediction. I think that within the next couple of years, and this has sort of already started to happen, I don't think people have noticed it, but in the next couple of years, search engines will become basically obsolete, okay? This is really already happening, it's probably just happening under everyone's noses. But search engines, they're, they're pointless at this point, like Google.com, DuckDuckGo.com, Cirques, whatever, everything, all these search engines are becoming more and more useless. Now, back in the day, why do I say that? All of us use search engines every single day, so that's a bold claim for me to say. But back in the day, search engines were, ex you know, put, brought to existence, they were invented for you to find websites. You need to find information, a search engine will help you do that. You need to find this, that, or the other, uh, the other a search engine, uh, you know, will lead you to new sites, things you haven't seen, stuff like that. But the thing is, if you go to a search engine nowadays, go to Google and search something, you will not find new sites. Here's what you find. There are basically three things that appear on a modern search engine result. And this is partially by choice. This is partially what Google and other companies have deliberately chosen to put first in uh, responses. But some of it is just people playing the search engine game. They're playing SEO, you know, search engine optimization and stuff like that. There are basically three things you get. Firstly, um, the top results are always going to be stupid sites that you could search individually, like big sites like uh, Facebook, like Reddit, like Twitter, none of which should really be indexed by Google. That might sound like a weird thing, but it's totally pointless to have Facebook results on Google when most people in the world who don't have Facebooks are going to click on those things and not going to be able to access the content. Oh, it's private. Oh, we'll show you like five seconds of it and then we're going to like bring up this menu that tells you to like, you know, undo your ad blocker and become a member or something like that. So search engines nowadays, firstly, they're indexing just a couple of sites that everyone like already knows. And the results to most search engine searches, whether you're looking for something in real life or some kind of event or whatever, you're just going to get like the same three or four sites over and over again. Uh, the worst offender here is definitely Reddit. Uh, Reddit is a terrible site. The people who use it are really terrible and they're getting worse and worse. And the worst thing is Reddit is like every search result now. Like this obscure site that bit, like such a minuscule portion of the world. I mean, it's a big site, but like in the grand scheme of things, very few people have Reddit accounts. And it's the most frustrating site to navigate. It is the most poorly written site. You uh, uh, To like go through a thread on Reddit is just impossible. But what has happened is all the other forms that you used to be able to search, you no longer get those results. You will get reddit.com results. That is what Google is doing nowadays. You will just get big social media sites. So that's one thing you see. Thing number two is sites that have no organic popularity, but Google and other search engines deliberately decide, oh, let's prop this site up. Now, Google has done this explicitly. They do stuff like, oh, well, you know, if we actually are honest, uh, but, you know, 10 years ago, no one ever went to freaking CNN.com. Who is going to go there? Like, there's no, uh, you know, a, a couple companies like Yahoo would put their stuff like in, I don't know, on their main page or something like that. But realistically speaking, over the past 10 years, um, there have been a bunch of mainstream sites that were fading in importance, and they've regained importance on the internet because sites like Google have now deliberately said, we are going to be, you know, propagating these sites, putting them, uh, you know, on the front page of the internet because we don't, oh my goodness, we, we don't want people to have disinformation. We want people to get their stuff straight from CNN. We don't want anything else. So on the front page of Google, you have social media sites that you already know are there and you know how to find information on them. And you have, you know, basically shill sites that, like, there's no, like, no one would want to go to them. Like, I'm sorry, when I'm looking for a news headline, like, even if I'm looking for a current event, I do not want to see what the New York Times has to say about this. I know what they're going to say about everything. No one cares, okay? So that shouldn't be there anyway. Uh, but the, the third thing, and this is, you know, probably one of the most annoying things, is that the uh, aside from social media sites and mainstream news sites, the only other thing that Google Sims seems to index nowadays is spam sites. Sites where you have some AI write articles. You know, let's say you search something like, oh, how do I change my car's oil? Oh, you guys have all seen these kind of sites. But you search something like, oh, how do I change my car's oil? You click on like the first, second, third Google result. What is it? It's one of these like AI written search engine optimized uh, just junk sites. 
Changing oil is something that people do all the time. Da 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 da. Oil can be changed. What does oil do? Ba ba ba. You you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like a, a dummy site that is just like a bunch of words. There's no. It doesn't answer the question. And all the sites are titled like questions or best computer 2021. It's all like search engine optimization. Because d- when dumb normies when they search for things, they either search entire questions or they search, uh, you know, best whatever. 2021 current date. I don't know why they do that. I, I don't know why they think. Uh, I don't. But either way, that is what appears on Google nowadays. Uh, you know, five social media sites that everyone that aren't shouldn't really be indexed anyway because they're not really searchable or usable by people who don't have accounts there. Uh, mainstream news sites and literal just spam AI generated sites. Okay, so a lot of people nowadays. You know, one of the big problems is search engines, and of course everyone has. This isn't just a Google problem. All other search engines. Um, they're not just following how Google does their things, but if Google propagates, you know, the New York Times and gets a lot more links to that site, by definition, that is going to increase their, uh, you know, their appearance on other search engine sites that don't bias their results in favor of them. That, that's just how it is, okay? That's how it works. And so what's happened is search engines no longer, they don't give you new sites. You will never find a new site on Google. You will never find new information. You will get the same five sites that are meticulously curated to tell you exactly what you know they want you to, to you know know or something like that um and nothing else that's it that's what a search engine does and the thing is for the things that people actually use search engines for okay you know let's put them down in a couple categories right so they're let's say how to stuff like how do i fix this how do i do that how do i uh you know fix my car how do i do my makeup how do i make a something you know all this kind of stuff you know those there are really only a small number of sites that actually give good, complete information about that kind of stuff. And they really could be indexed by another site that just indexes a couple sites, gets rid of all spam, and that would actually be a better experience. Like if you made a cell phone app or, uh, you know, so even maybe even a desktop application that just gave you a cert- gave you search results of a couple you know, well-chosen sites with no ads and stuff like that for those kind of things or for recipes for that matter, that would be something that people want. Search engines as it is right now, they are just a pain. Like you have to scroll down pages and pages of stuff to actually get good information nowadays. So I think that as you know, what people actually use search engines for, whether that's looking up how to do something uh, or, or most other things, they could actually have specialized sites that could do this better in each case. And what's happening now is, you know, I find myself relying on search engines less and less because it's just like they're just bad. They're they're really unusable. It's just frustration. Doesn't matter which one you use. I mean, I use all of them. I use Cirques and I can have it index all search engines all together, you know, order them in whatever way I want, you know, and it's it's still not good enough. Like I could get uh, direct results from Google or DuckDuckGo or anything else. It just sucks. And fundamentally, it creates the idea that the internet is just five sites and then a bunch of spam. And that's the idea that normies have. They don't have this idea that, oh, there's, there can be an artisanal website that a person puts together that has good information. There might be a place out there where a guy has, uh, you know, created a site with just information about how to fix your car. But I am never going to see that because he probably doesn't do search engine optimization and he probably doesn't, you know, uh, it, it's going to be drowned in a bunch of nonsense that actually uh, shows up in the, the search engines. So the ability to actually provide that kind of stuff, the kind of stuff that people actually want on the internet, I think there's a good market for that. The other month, just on a whim, you guys might, might remember, I was complaining about recipe sites not doing this. So sort of on a joke, we created a recipe site that just has recipes without ads and in, in any of that other stuff. Base.cooking, that's the website, base.cooking. Um, but either way, I, I think the future of the internet, we're, weirdly enough, it's sort of like returning to the tradition of the internet where there are a couple sites that have good informational content and, uh, you know, all the search engine stuff, is just stupid. It, it honestly is. It's so frustrating. Uh, and that is why I think in a couple years, search engines will have, you know, be less and less important. If people want to search for something on Facebook, they'll go to Facebook and search it. If, if they don't use Facebook, they have no reason to ever see a Facebook result because I don't want to see some stupid ad uh, in front of the information I'm trying to look at on a Facebook page that tells me to sign up to Facebook. It's just not going to happen. Like, it's just, it's stupid. Anyway, so that's it.